Do you have time to play a game with me? Let's play a game then. You're gonna find out all about this game after the intro. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching videos here for some time and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And I got the idea to do this game because recently I received a comment on a video which actually went into spam and uh, luckily it did. But I was reading the comment and I thought, hmm, let me see, this, let's, let's turn this into a game and see uh, what people think about this comment. And also wanted to uh, offer a giveaway. So the person that guesses it will get a big sample pack of 100 different samples. And this is gonna be a worldwide giveaway. So I'm doing this for open to anyone in the world. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel though. And here's the, the, the rules of the game. Basically, well, let me, read the, let me read the comment first. Let me put my glasses on and read you the comment. So here's the comment. I won't tell you the name of the fragrance because that's part of the game. All right, I guess it's just me. Maybe I don't really have as much of a refined nose palette as I thought. But everyone I've ever asked at fragrance stores along with my own opinion mutually, mutually agree that this smell is fucking horrible on most humans. It seems the connoisseurs can appreciate it because of how unique it is, but I've asked many retailers who the fuck is buying this and answers I always get is foreigners, particularly Middle Easterners, are the only ones that get it. Not that anything is wrong with that, but I think this was made for a very specific audience. And to me personally, the focus is so small for a mass market designer fragrance that this, sense, this scent makes no fucking sense at all. I just can't get absolutely anything that is appealing in this fragrance and I'm pretty open-minded to a lot of different fragrances. So that was the comment and I thought, okay, let's make this into, let's turn this into a game. So what I thought about doing was, if you can guess which fragrance this is, this person is talking about, I won't say when the fragrance came out, I won't say what it is, it's definitely designer, it's a designer release. And here's another clue, it's also not part of their exclusive or private or uh, privé or I don't know, whatever collections they call their uh, more exclusive fragrances. It's not, it's a mass market fragrance. So it is released to uh, everyone and everyone in a, like Sephora's or major department stores will be able to buy this fragrance. So can you guess what it is? I mean, um, here's my, here's my, thoughts about this. I think the designers are not releasing as good of a fragrance as they should be. And then something like this comes along and it throws people off because they're so used to the same fragrance, a little different take on that same freaking fragrance that when something weird like this comes out, which I don't personally think is weird, but a lot of people think it, it is because obviously this is the kind of comment I get for this. And I've heard this not once, but twice, three times, four times. I've heard it in, on the channel. I've also heard it in the group that I run. People don't like this because it doesn't smell like anything else out there. And it's from a mass market designer release, so it's like caught people off guard. But you know, I think I like the fact that this brand did this and released something like this because it's completely different. It's nothing like there, like it out there. It, it smells nothing like anything else, although it could smell like some niche stuff, but it's, it's totally nothing like that. And that's what I like about this because everything is starting to smell the same over and over again. Everything, everywhere you turn, that blue de Chanel, once that came out, everything has just been like copied and really overdone, redone. Just everything is starting to smell the same. So when you go to a department store, it smells the same. It always smells the same. It's like that same kind of like a citrusy, woody kind of a aquatic thing that uh, when, when something like this comes, off, comes out or is released, it does catch people off guard and think, whoa, what is this? Uh, this is really weird. Now go back 20 years or 30 years, this is the kind of stuff that they were releasing. In fact, they were a lot more heavier, a lot more animalic, a lot more, I don't know, they were just different. But as time has gone uh, on and um, noses are get, getting a lot more, I mean, I think just sensitivity has just become big here. Everywhere, people are getting more sensitive about everything and it's including scents, I think, fragrances. So the fragrances have become a lot less uh, unique. So when something like this does come out, it just kind of like 
throws people off. So, so I wanted to turn it into a game and uh, let's see if anybody can guess uh, what this fragrance is. Uh, and again, I won't, I won't say when it came out. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but it's, it's, it's a designer. It's definitely a designer release, and uh, that's all I'm going to say. And the other thing is, if there's more than one person that guesses it, then we'll have to randomize the list so that we can find a winner that's going to win the 100 samples. But uh, if there's only one, or if there's no guesses at all, then uh, nobody gets to win the prize. But if there is a winner, you're going to get a, a bag full of samples. Uh, samples from every walk of life. You'll have designers, you'll have niche, you'll have indie, and anything else obscure that I might have laying around. But it's going to be 100, and it could be 1 mil, it could be a 0.5 mil, it could be 2 mil, 3 mil, whatever I have laying around. I'll put it all in a bag, and a, a giveaway is open worldwide. So, guys, let me know your thoughts on this uh, particular comment. What do you think about it? Um, what are your thoughts about fragrances in general? I mean, um, do you still into all of the um, Blue de Chanel type fragrances? Uh, and again, I don't hate Blue de Chanel. I just think it's um, a very, very <laughs> not necessarily fragrancy fragrance. I mean, I like it. I wear it to the gym a lot, but it was good for what they did, but people, I mean, brands shouldn't copy. I mean, it's been copied many times. You've got the Sauvages, you've got the, uh, all, a lot of them very similar. So, so uh, let me know your thoughts. I mean, do you like it? And do you like a little more out there fragrances, something a little more uh, crazy uh, when, when a designer releases and they go, wow, this is so different. It catches you off guard, but you still like it. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think of this comment. Um, do you like the comment? Uh, do you think it's rude? Or, I mean, especially since he's pointing out a uh, uh, specific uh, culture of people that would wear it, all that kind of stuff. Let me know your thoughts um, so we can get a conversation started. Also, if you're going to participate in the giveaway, please list down uh, why you want to participate in the giveaway, why you want the 100 samples, and why, uh, in which country you're commenting from. So that I know uh, that you're definitely participating in the, in the giveaway. And of course, don't forget to put down which fragrance uh, this uh, person is referring to uh, so that you qualify for the giveaway. Also, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.